Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here, realtor in Central Texas, back with another model home walkthrough. Today we're going through the Preston 3 plan with Weston Homes. This plan is over 3,400 square feet. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home with a two car garage. And as usual, we're gonna go right out to the main living area and really show how well this plan opens up. And this is why I love showing plans with Weston Homes because they're very open concept, they're very modern, and they tend to offer what a lot of buyers want in the current market. So this specific home has a study downstairs, it has upstairs, game room, media room, and then downstairs in this living room, open to the second story with great lighting, as you can tell, coming in from the transom windows up top, as well as these large size windows that are in the living room. And there's so many other things about this plan. We'll definitely detail throughout the video. You'll see a spiral staircase that's beautiful in a, in a few minutes. And I wanna focus in on the kitchen. So first off, the flow of this space makes a lot of sense. Connected into the living room, you have a separate entrance into the dining room. Uh, you have a breakfast nook right off of it. So everything still feels very open in this kitchen. And then I love some of the design upgrades that they chose here. A couple pendant lights over the island. They decided to go with a waterfall island. You have a pantry space that I would say is fairly standard for around this type of square footage. And then there's some other design upgrades that I think really paint the picture of what's possible when you build from scratch. Uh, for example, take a look at this backsplash that goes all the way up to the ceiling along the vent hood. I think it's beautiful. And I think it gives you a good idea of what's possible when you can build from scratch in some of these modern floor plans. Uh, for example, I just had a buyer get back from the design studio and it, it, I'm so excited for them because they were able to pick the exact backsplash all the way up to the ceiling that I think they were looking for and build from scratch, picking all their options. So I'm very excited to see more opportunities like that come up and I'm hopeful Weston follows suit like other builders. Um, that was a look at the breakfast nook area. Yes, a little bit tight in there where you can kind of fit like a round table uh, for that breakfast nook. But keep in mind, that's because you do have a separate dining area in this plan. And then take a look at this backyard patio. Absolutely amazing. The patio does have cathedral style ceilings, which you're going to see a better look at in a second. And then, yes, this is an oversized lot. I wouldn't say this is fairly typical unless you're, you know, looking at like one acre lots or something like that. Uh, but I think it does do a good job of showing what's possible here in Texas, where you have these amazing builders building these open concept plans with lots of windows on the back wall. And what's funny is as much as I love this lot, it doesn't really depict what's possible here in this community, which is called Rough Hollow. It's located in Lakeway, Texas. Lakeway is a suburb in West Austin that has amazing hills, has the Colorado River running through it, and you can get lots that are amazing. Like I have a client who's under contract down the street from here, and they have a lot that backs up to a view that looks out for miles, and that's what I would imagine. So when you see these things like the spiral staircase and that circular design in the ceiling, if you can imagine kind of walking down that staircase and you look out to the right side here with all those windows and that window looks out to a view, that's what I think is drawing so many people to Austin because when they travel here, they see the hills, they see the beauty that's here, they wanna stay and I can't blame them for that. Getting back into the plan, uh, this is just a closet that's located right outside the primary bedroom. I'm not sure why they had those small little trunks in there, uh, maybe just random decor that was kind of laying around. Getting into the primary bedroom, I like what Weston does in their bedrooms here in the primary suite where uh, some of their plans have this beautiful tray ceiling. They don't paint the way it's painted here. That's something you'd want to do aftermarket, but they're just kind of giving you an idea of what's possible. And then heading into the owner's bathroom, I like that sliding door where it has some uh, glass panels in it, which will of course allow for natural light. And then take a look at this tile and how it's extended all the way over to the closet. When I walked into the bathroom, it made the space feel so much larger. Uh, and it's because that one continued tile kind of going all the way out. Very similar to what you want to do when you walk into your front door of your home, right? You want a similar flooring that goes front to back and extends all the way out into your living room. It would be the same idea here. So I thought that that was a cool upgrade 
And then on this side of the bathroom, we have a freestanding tub. We have that same tile going all the way up to the wall. I don't usually see that too much uh, where that's like an accent wall. Uh, looks cool, would be fairly expensive. I do see a lot of this though, where in the owner's shower to extend the space, putting the tile all the way up to the ceiling, and then doing an accent band like you see here to provide some contrast. Looks fantastic. I actually just had a buyer do something similar, but instead of an accent band, they did the whole wall as an accent wall to provide that contrast. And I'm really excited to see that come together. There's some great ideas that you can do here. Similar to the kitchen, the owner's bathroom does have some parts that need to kind of work together. And you want to have all those in mind when you're designing this and, and building from scratch. And this door, by the way, I'm going to close it for now. Of course, from the closet, we have access to the laundry, as you can see there. Um, but we'll come back to that area just so you don't get mixed up with the plan. I want to get you the full flow. And then I like how they fit this window in the owner's closet. It gives you some natural light in the morning when you're in this closet. Uh, and you can even see the same in the bathroom. We have that large window over the tub. And then of course, all the other windows that we talked about in the owner's bath bedroom and, and the living room. And while we head over to the dining room, I wanna go back to design upgrades. I was mentioning previously that you want to have the different parts in a room all work together. Now that may sound obvious, but what's less obvious is when you go to a design studio, if you've never built your own home, you may not know, it's just a bunch of samples that you look at. So you might see a sample of a tile that you love. Then you see a countertop that looks amazing. Then you see a shower floor that you love as well. You have to make sure that they all go together because what I find is people fall in love with the sample and they don't actually try to imagine all of it together. And that's where leaning on a designer and a realtor who knows what they're doing makes a whole lot of sense because uh, you need them all to be working together. Getting back into the plan, this is the dining room right off of the kitchen. This is big. I mean, this is an eight-seater table. Uh, you can see there's still kind of some room on the sides as well. Uh, I like some of the design upgrades that they did. Like, take a look at these light fixtures. It really makes me feel like this is the centerpiece of the room. At least that's what I felt like when I came in. It's the first thing I noticed. And then I love this view kind of off the dining room of this spiral staircase. There's even room there for kind of a table. You could, of course, put like a vase there or a statue or any sort of artwork that you're thinking of. I think there's a, definitely a spot there along the stairwell. And then on this side, we have a powder bathroom. And then just next to this powder bathroom is that laundry area, which again is connected into the owner's closet. Uh, and I say that, keep in mind, there are different upgrades in these model homes. I can't call out all of them. And to be really upfront, Weston has not had too many built from scratch opportunities. So it's been a lot of inventory homes. I can tell you what I've seen usually in their inventory homes, but obviously that can also vary from home to home. So you definitely wanna double check any of these upgrades that you see before making a buying decision. And also just use these model home walkthroughs as a way to kind of get a flow of the plan and see what you like or don't like. Getting back to the front of the home, we are in the study. I like those three slender windows on the left side. It just makes Weston feel a little bit less like a like high volume builder where every window looks exactly the same. It's the same 3060 size. I like what they do there. And, and I like when builders provide different elements that make it feel like it's pseudo custom. And then I like this location of the study. It's private from the other parts of the house. So if you're somebody who works from home, you still want to be close by. You don't want to be all the way up in a spare bedroom upstairs. Uh, you want to be, you know, close to the kitchen. You want to be able to get out your door, get some fresh air. And so I think Weston was smart by putting this study here. Uh, it's a good location for it. And then we didn't really show this uh, when you first walk in the front door. I love how you can see that ceiling design. Uh, it just kind of draws your eyes upward. And then you come out here and everything is open to the second story kitchen, this amazing star, uh, spiral staircase. And this is what I think makes it feel like a dream home where if you get to this landing uh, at the top of the stairwell and you just look out to all those windows, which we'll get back to in a few minutes, it's, it's, it's amazing, especially when uh, you're in a community like this with the possibility of views off your backyard. Getting up to the game room on the second floor here, I love what they did here with the tray ceiling, uh, some design work there to really draw your eye up. Uh, and I, if you have watched past videos, you may already know, I love talking about windows and ceiling height. I think it's very underrated. I think when people tell me this space feels so much bigger than what it actually is, 
it has a lot to do with ceiling height and windows. Uh, it really extends the space and it's great for livability. It's also great for resale. Speaking of resale, this is the media room and I have a lot of buyers right now that are looking to build from scratch and they're always asking, is it worth it to do the media room upgrade? I think it really depends on the community that you're buying in and what that buyer is going to need in the future in that specific community. I think generally speaking, what I'm finding a lot of buyers want is their media room where they're gonna put a TV or make it like a theater room. It's gonna be loud, right? It needs to be enclosed for that reason. They don't want that you know, noise getting all the way out to the kitchen or somewhere else. And I find with some of these open concept plans, the tough part about doing that in your game room is you, if you think about it, you have a loud TV in here that could be competing with the loud TV in your living room or something like that. If you have multiple people in the house all trying to hang out, uh, you know, in maybe in separate areas, it's tough to do that. And that's where I think, generally speaking, media room, yes or no, I'd be leaning towards yes, but I would be more leaning towards getting a good in-depth analysis on whether it's necessary for you uh, and whether it's necessary for resale. Now let's get out of this bedroom. There are three bedrooms upstairs with two full bathrooms. But what I'm more excited to really show here is again, that open concept feel. That's the front door down there where uh, that was open to the second story in the foyer. And then just take a look at this. I think this really gives you a perspective on the room that you're probably gonna be spending the bulk of your time in, which is your living room, kitchen area. I love taking what I see here and just duplicating it elsewhere. Like if you saw all the artwork in there, it really draws your eyes up in there when you're in the living room, you see those huge ceilings. And I think that's something you can definitely just copy, right? It take what these designers have done in these beautiful model homes and just put them in your home. And I think it, it all starts again with ceiling height, windows, and the space feeling so much more open. And I can't say it enough, that is so important. It's not something you can change aftermarket windows, uh, ceiling height, very difficult to do. Uh, getting back to the plan, we have this bedroom that's off the front of the home. You saw previously a full bathroom that's accessible from the hallway. And then each bedroom upstairs is very private from each other. So oftentimes, I think with a lot of plans with different builders, a lot of their uh, bedrooms upstairs are kind of clustered in together. If you valued privacy from one bedroom to the other, this could be a great plan then for you where each of these bedrooms, again, private from each other, but still, you know, very close uh, and all kind of connected to that game room, media room as well. While we head over to the other bedroom that does have an in-suite full bathroom, I want to take this time to mention that uh, we were talking about building from scratch. There are lots of builders that are now opening up finally building from scratch where you can pick all your options, you can pick a lot, build a certain plan on that lot. And that's really the most enjoyable part about building your home is being able to pick everything. Obviously, there's much less compromise when, uh, when being able to pick a lot of your options. The tough part with Weston right now is, as I mentioned before, they're still only doing inventory homes at the time of this recording. But uh, what I would say is I wouldn't be surprised if in the future that they switch to allowing some build from scratch options. And I'd be excited to see that happen because as you can tell, they have great plans. They have great upgrades in some of these model homes uh, that I think really showcase what's possible with them. But if you are open-minded to some of their inventory home options, that's where I think it makes sense to have somebody on your side who knows these builders inside and out and can point out things that maybe these inventory homes are missing from an upgrade standpoint, or maybe it's uh, an item that's in the inventory home that's usually not in other inventory homes offered by other builders. Regardless, hire a great realtor to help you throughout this process. I am a realtor, I'm located in Austin, but regardless of your location or your needs, criteria, reach out to me. My info's in the description of this video. If I can't help you because I think your criteria is a better fit for another realtor, I'm happy to look into that and make that connection for you. If you want to see another model home with Weston, click on the thumbnail that's appeared on your screen. And of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more model home walkthroughs and hope this helps. Take care.